it's Todd with TLF Works. Today I'm going to make a sled for my bandsaw. I hope you'll stick around. I'll be making this sled using some scrap plywood I had in the shop. This is a piece of half inch plywood I'll use as the base of the sled. I'm getting a basic idea of the size that I want for the sled right here and marking where the miter slot is on the saw. I want to go ahead and make sure I true up both ends of this piece of plywood. This is a piece of three quarter inch plywood. I'm going to use this for the fence on my sled. So I've just trued up one edge. Now I'm going to use that edge as a reference to make two smaller cuts, more narrow cuts, that I will then glue together to make the fence. I'll end up cutting a little bit off this fence and I'm marking that area right now. I'm also putting lines in for where the miter gauge is and where the saw would be intersecting the fence. I know what you're thinking here. Is he using enough glue? Today I would be following James King's philosophy on glue. If you don't follow James at his site, you should take a look. That's King's Fine Woodworking. I'll put a card up in the top right. One thing about using the proper amount of glue is you get a lot of spillage, a lot of drips to clean up later. You can see the glue starting to run down the sides right now. That glue cleans up easy with a moist towel. I didn't have one with me, so I'll have to leave and go get a moist towel here in a minute. All I'm accomplishing with this dry paper towel is to just smear this glue all over the place. It's not really cleaning anything up. I'm not very patient, so I have the brad nailer out, getting ready to uh, put some nails into this fence as temporary clamps, so I can go ahead and remove these clamps in a little bit and move on. Notice how I skipped in between the lines that I had marked for where the blade will be intersecting the fence. For argument's sake, let's say enough time has passed for that glue to cure, and I'm removing these clamps so we can continue with our project. I had a little glue spillage on the faces of the fence, so I'm just using the orbital sander to clean that off right now before I head back to the table saw to uh, even up those edges make sure everything's nice and true.
I have a scrap piece of hardwood here that I'm running through the drum sander to uh, get down to the exact size needed to create a runner for the sled. It's going to take me multiple tries to get this right. I'd rather take my time now and have a perfect fit than have a sloppy sled later. Perfect. Now we just need to cut that runner to length. Now that we have our runner cut to length, let's go ahead and dry fit everything on the bandsaw. Try to make sure everything's as square as I can get it. Clamp that runner down so I can put a couple of screws in it. And then I'll take those screws out here in a second, put some glue down, and then attach the runner permanently to the bottom of the sled. Before I started using that drill bit, I had measured it to uh, determine the length of it uh, as compared to my runner and the, the sled itself, but uh, I was afraid there that I had uh, went right through it and probably drilled a hole into my tabletop, but I didn't. Now that I have the runner attached and all the squeeze out removed, I'm back at the bandsaw where I'm going to cut a slot into the base of the sled. I'm not going to be going all the way through this piece. I've drawn a line on there. I want to stop short of that line. That represents where my fence will be attached later. Now I'm going to use that slot and a square to get the fence as square to the blade as possible. I will be clamping the fence to the sled so I can turn it upside down, drill some holes, and put some screws in through the bottom. Before flipping it over, I want to make sure that it's as square as possible. A couple of minor tweaks. Tighten the clamps. And we're ready to go. Later, if you decide the fence is not quite square to the sled, you can simply remove these screws, knock the fence loose, and then uh, 
drill new holes to uh, to line this fence up. I I'm thinking that maybe I shouldn't have glued it on there in case I need to do that. I have some Brie Wax here that I have in my shop for uh, normally finishing out uh, bowls on my uh, on my on my lathe. Um, a paste wax would work great there to uh, make sure that this thing slides as well as possible. Here I am making a couple of uh, test cuts. Um, just trying on a, it looks like a piece of maybe walnut or something. I'm not sure what it was seeing if I can make some nice thin cuts that are uh, that are even cuts Finished my bandsaw sled very happy Gonna use this to cut Hopefully very small little segmented pieces for pens and bottle stoppers and bowls and whatnot. Um, been wanting one of these for a long time for my bandsaw. Now I need to make one for my table saw. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and will subscribe. If you did enjoy the video, if you could just click that like button for me. That helped me out a lot. And... I'll see you later.